The Mitchell family had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm they had a camel. Wait, what, a camel? That doesn't sound right. E-I-E-I-O. With a... Oh, hang on, what sound does a camel make? Right, well, there you go. E-I-E-I-O. Say hello to Spots, Humphrey, Garfunkel and Alfie, the four new additions to the Mitchell farm. They're dromedary camels, which you can tell from their one hump, unlike their cousins, Bactrian camels, which have two humps, and Alice the camel, who has no humps. While they might seem a little out of place on a cattle farm, these gentle giants help out around the property, protecting the cattle from wild dogs, eating up weeds, and most importantly... I can go up and hug them, give them pats. They've never spat on me once and they've never been like aggressive or anything. Well, I'm glad they don't spit on you. The Mitchells are amongst a growing group of farmers who have jumped on the camel pet bandwagon. And they reckon there's a good reason, apart from the camel cuddles. You see, Australia has a lot of feral camels. So how did camels get here anyway? Way back in the 1800s, camels were imported to Australia from India and the Middle East. They were used for transport and carrying heavy things in the outback, and played a huge part in building the railways that connected Aussie towns. But when the internal combustion engine came along, they were no longer needed. So thousands were released into the wild. And with no natural predators and vast areas to roam, the camel population boomed. Today, there are more than 300,000 feral camels living in the deserts of Australia. In fact, Australia has the biggest population of wild camels in the world. Crazy, right? But they're causing big problems for the environment and for farmers, because they tend to destroy fencing, steal feed, and drain water supplies. Yep, these thirsty camels gulp down millions of litres of water every year from dams and reservoirs. That's why many state governments have been culling feral camels. But some reckon there are other solutions. There are quite a few farmers in Australia who are breeding camels for meat or milk or rides or races. They say there's a big opportunity for the industry to grow. And some would like to see the feral herds rounded up and sent to farms where they can actually be really helpful. The camels will eat all your foliage and everything, and that's the number one thing for us. I'll eat weeds as well. Of course, pet camels aren't for everyone, and you can't just go up into the desert and take one home. They can be a bit aggressive, and they have been known to spit. No, not you, Garfunkel. Plus, you'll also need a big backyard, a livestock permit, and lots of food. Oh, and of course, plenty of hugs, something the Mitchells aren't short of.